In this video is going to show you how to change the screensaver, what it looks like, and the different options that are available for the different screensavers. Begin by right clicking on an empty part of the desktop and from the quick shortcut menu choose Personalize at the bottom. This will open up the Personalize window. In the bottom right hand pane you're going to see Screensaver. Currently notice I have no screensaver set. I'm going to go ahead and click on Screensaver which will open a dialog box. So from this dialog box you can see a drop down here where it tells you no screensaver. One very popular screensaver is Bubbles. I'm going to go ahead and select Bubbles. Then I'm going to hit the preview button so you can see what that screensaver looks like. With this screensaver bubbles float across the screen but notice that you can still read through the bubbles and see what's on the screen. So some companies have removed this for security reasons. They prefer screensavers that will turn the screen black. For example, Mystify. After selecting Mystify, I'm going to go ahead and preview that one. Notice that it first turns the screen black and then you have the bouncing shapes going around but you cannot see what is actually being worked on underneath that screensaver. A very popular screensaver amongst users is the 3D text screensaver. When you first preview it you'll notice it's just the words Windows 7 bouncing around. However, by going into settings and looking at the, the dialog box now for the 3D text settings, I can actually change it to whatever text I want. I'm going to go ahead and put in my name. I can change the font or shape of my name. I can go ahead, I'm going to put this in, uh, oh, here's something, maybe a bold italic. And down here I can change how it rotates. Instead of spinning, maybe I want it to seesaw or wobble or tumble. Maybe I want it to be a solid color, a texture, a reflection. There's so all kinds of different choices in here. Once I OK, then I'm going to go ahead and preview. You notice now it's my name seesawing around on the screen. And finally, another very popular uh, screensaver for, especially for home users, is Photos. This one, what it's going to do is randomly rotate between whatever photos you have available on your hard drive. You can see I've got a lot of photos from my class. I don't have any personal photos on this particular computer. So what you want to do is after selecting Photos, you're going to go into Settings and then this is where you actually can browse to the folder that contains your photographs. This is how fast they're going to rotate and do you want the pictures to shuffle. So most people browse to their personal photographs, have it rotate either slow or medium and they do shuffle the pictures. After changing those things, if you preview, you'll see what it looks like. Once you've made this final decision about what screensaver and settings you want, and you can come down here to the wait. This is how many minutes have to pass with no touching of a key on the keyboard and no movement of the mouse before the screensaver kicks on. And this checkbox over here means that it, if checked, you must have a password in order to unlock the screensaver. Many companies require that this be turned on.